What's up everybody, this is Alex with GuitarForce.com. This is a lesson on how to play Spoonman by Soundgarden, uh, which is not really a difficult song, apart from the fact that the main riff of the song is written in 7-4, meaning that uh, it's got now 7 beats per bar. But uh, in my opinion, it's not that hard once uh, you, know, you, you get it inside your head, the main riff of the song, and play it a couple of times, then it becomes you know, just easy to play. Um, the tuning for this song is going to be a standard with a low E string tuned down to D, so it's dropped D. Uh, all we have to do is just uh, tune down the E string, like I said, one whole step down. All right. Uh, the uh, backing track and the tabs are going to be available for this lesson at GuitarForce.com for free. And while you're there, you can check out the store section of the site where you can purchase a product and that way you're going to be helping me. And actually, thanks a lot to everybody who has helped me so far. I really appreciate you guys. Uh, all right, so back to the lesson. Uh, yeah, there is nothing much really to say, so let's go for the close-up. Let's take a listen to the uh, main riff of the song. Then we'll come back and start the lesson. Let's check it out. Alright, so the main riff of the song, which then goes into the verses, goes like this. We're going to be using power chords, and keep in mind that we are in drop D tuning, so now all we have to do is just fret with one finger the low E, A and D strings at a, at a certain fret. Alright, so the riff starts at 10th uh, position, and also keep in mind that this riff is written in 7-4, so that means we have 7 beats per bar now, alright? So we start off at the 10th fret and we go 10 to 12 slide, playing three more times at the 12th fret, 16th notes. Then we have dead strings, then we play 10, then we play 12 to 7. And uh, rhythmically it goes like this. Then the second part of the riff goes like this. We go 5, 7, 3, open. And then we have 3, slide to 5, playing two more times. And then we have uh, the uh, low strings open, 3, 16th notes. So. so when we put together all the parts, it goes like this slowly. Also, you can play uh, the last three chords, the 16th notes, uh, palm muted, uh, to give it a little bit more um, heavier sound. Uh, also, this could be a little bit challenging in the beginning, rhythmically wise, because of the 7-4 figure. And, uh, you know, if you, you, if you play it a few times and get it inside your head, I think you're going to be alright. Okay, so after that we go into the verse and it goes like this. So it's practically the same thing as as the main riff, the first part of it anyway. So we would play 10 fret slide to 12, exactly the same thing. 10 slides to 12, play three more times. Then we have dead strings to 10, to 12. And then instead of going to the seventh fret, we go into the fifth fret. And we hold on onto this chord for a while. Then after that, we are back to the main riff. Alright, so this alternates um, between the main riff and the beginning of the verse, like that. 
All right, after that we go into the um, chorus and it sounds like this. Okay, so for the choruses, basically we have only one riff which goes like this. On the low E string, we're going to be playing pull-offs. We start off at the 5th fret going 5-3, 5-3, 5-3 open. Then we play 5 again. Hold on to it for a while. Then we play a short note on the 3rd fret of the string. And then the second part of the riff goes a pull off on the D string 5-3 on A same 5-3 and open so all the parts together rhythmically goes like this slowly So after that we're going back to the main riff of the song and uh, we continue to play uh, all these riffs uh, for a couple more times. So it's basically we're back to the beginning, then we play the second verse and so on. Uh, now we come to the first break of the song and it goes like this. So for the break, guitars are not playing much, there is a bass actually playing all, um, all the parts. The guitars are coming in in the end of the break and uh, there are actually two parts of the guitar. One is playing this, which is pull-offs on the A string, we go 5-3, 5-3, 5 open. And then we play first time the third fret of the low E string second time so exactly the same pull offs 5353353 open and fifth fret of the low E now the second guitar is playing in between uh, these riffs the first one goes like this which is we're going to be playing on the D string going 10 to 12 then we have a unison band which means we have 10 fret of the B and on the G we have 12 and we bend it up bring it down and then we have hammer-ons which are on the G string going 10, 12 on the D same 10, 12 and we uh, finish off at the 10th fret of the A string so together second time which is again a uh, hammer on on the D string 10 to 12 then we have again the same bend so then we have again 10 to 12 hammer on then 10 to 13 on the B and bend it up And then we go into the solo, which I'm not going to transcribe here because it's just, uh, you know, a lot of fast uh, licks played in the D minor pentatonic, right? Uh, and uh, the rhythm guitar is playing the main riff of the song underneath the solo. I think uh, for four times. Okay, so after that we have another break which is playing uh, bass primarily. First it's just drums and some spoons going on. Then the bass kicks in and then we have um, guitars are playing and they sound like this.
All right, so like I said in the break number two, uh, basically uh, the bass is playing the main riff, and then for the last four times, uh, the guitar um, also plays the same basically riff, which goes like this. <laughs> which is uh, pull-offs again on the A string going 5-3-5-3-5-3 open then we play 5th fret on the D 3rd fret of the D then we play pull-off 5-3 on A string then we play 5 on uh, low E to open so slowly again So we play this riff for four times and then we're back to the chorus, uh, which is again, again, same thing. This kind of thing. And then we're back to the main riff. We play, uh, we go into the sort of uh, verse, again, same thing. And we finish off the song with a, you know, it's uh, just slide from 10 to 12 playing a few times and, and then slide out and that's it all right guys so that was it for this lesson i hope you found it useful if you did like this video please hit the thumbs up it really helps the channel grow uh, also comment share subscribe if you're new to my channel don't forget to visit guitarforce.com for more guitar related stuff and in the meantime i'll see you again take it easy and as always let the force be with you